Ocean pollution and the fishing industry are devastating marine mammal populations. From starving seals that haul onto beaches to die, to sea lions entangled in coastal gill nets, marine mammals of all species are exhibiting the devastating effects of our industrialized society. Yet concerned people have come together to effect rescues when these animals find themselves in trouble. In Southern California, these rescues are carried out by the highly trained and dedicated volunteers of Marine Animal Rescue, formerly the Whale Rescue Team, and now a program of Friends of Animals. A sea lion mother gives birth to a dead pup. The stress from this stillbirth adds to the fact that she is suffering from domoic acid poisoning, a debilitating and often fatal condition caused from eating tainted fish. To save her life, Marine Animal Rescue volunteers which on this rescue included Los Angeles County lifeguards, have to bring her to a rehab center after a carefully orchestrated capture. While this capture appears somewhat violent, in reality, the netting process is the most efficient way to quickly trap and subdue seals and sea lions, and in a matter of moments, the struggle is over. For over a decade of operation, Marine Animal Rescue has used tried and true methods of rescuing marine wildlife often refining these methods or developing new ones. Once this sea lion is contained in a specially built aluminum cart, she is brought on board the rescue truck for a half hour drive to the rehab center, where medicines, a fresh fish diet, and lots of care will result in her eventual return to the open sea. While Mars efforts center mostly on sick, injured, or netted seals or sea lions, it is prepared for the most difficult rescues of all. Mar, along with LA County lifeguards, are also the primary responders for the highly specialized whale disentanglement incidents. When this baby gray whale became separated from its mother, marine animal rescue volunteers, including police officers, county lifeguards, and firefighters, gently nudged her to the beach, where preparations were underway to transfer her to a rehab center. During this emotional rescue, average citizens joined in, and total strangers became friends in their dedication to save this baby whale. A year later, she was released into a pod of migrating gray whales. Not all sea lion rescues take place on a smooth sandy beach with lots of room to maneuver. As often as not, marine animal rescue is called upon to secure and remove animals from rocky breakwaters, the most dangerous rescues of all, and performed only by those with the most experience. In these situations, a sick or injured sea lion can easily lose its balance, attempting to get away. And once it has fallen into the crevices, it is almost impossible to extract them safely. Peter positions himself to the rear of the sea lion, cutting off any attempt to flee back to the sea. And with feet firmly planted, the net is thrust over the animal's head. Peter then reverses his position, so the sea lion, darting toward the water, will ultimately enter the net on its own. From here, other rescuers join to wrap the sea lion securely in the net, cover its head with canvas, and carry it to the awaiting truck and a trip to the rehab center. Sea lion pups make up a significant complement of Peter's rescues. had dozens of these and probably had a hundred of these rescues just since the first of the year. What's happening is these pups are being abandoned early by mom for some reason. It's a very important that we rescue this animal. Uh, his hips are showing, his ribs are showing. I would say give the animal two or three weeks and probably dehydration and starvation would set in and uh, probably would kill the animal if we don't, if he doesn't have human intervention and human assistance.
a juvenile female sea lion lies asleep on the transom of a moored vessel monofilament fishing line cutting into her neck and a fish hook embedded deep in her skin after several unsuccessful attempts at hoop netting her marine animal rescue devised another strategy a diver quietly approaches the transom with a net placed directly under the sleeping sea lion when another rescuer approaches her on deck she leaps into the water and is trapped by the diver's net We can give it to her if you want. I've got it. Um, and it's going to be difficult because we got, we got her in here. Yep. Look, oh, she's got some, yeah, she's pretty wet. Without this kind of intervention, this sea lion would have suffered a slow and agonizing death as the line would eventually have cut through the skin to her main artery. Within hours, the line and hook are removed. And after a short stay at the rehab facility, she will be released at the capture site. When a male sea lion swam from the ocean up a lead pipe into a Los Angeles Department of Water and Power basin used for cooling the adjacent plant, he became trapped for 10 days with no haul-out places to rest. When finally discovered, Marine Animal Rescue, with support from DWP and Blackledge Diving, leaped into action. This was a unique circumstance where standard rescue techniques were abandoned because of automatic periodic heating of the water and risk to the animal of hypothermia. He had been swimming nonstop, day and night, for over 10 days. A cage baited with fish was lowered to water level, but the wary sea lion would not climb in far enough to spring the trap door. several hours without success, another idea came to mind. A boat draped with netting was lowered into the basin in the hopes that the exhausted sea lion would haul out to rest. When he finally did, the trap was sprung and the sea lion was netted. While the sea lion struggled to free himself, the rescuers succeeded in getting him into the specially built crate for a quick trip back to the ocean, where he was released unharmed. Each rescue, be it dolphin or whale, seal or sea lion, pelican or cormorant, is met by marine animal rescue with a total dedication to rehabilitation and a return to the wild.